right, it's a Wednesday, and it's time to get uh, get this thing going. Brought to you by Cornelius Custom Services this hour. Getting things happening here on this uh, hump day Wednesday. Anytime you hear that music, you know on a Wednesday, it's time to bring in the man, the myth, the legend. A legend in his own mind, Joe, the Brian Insurance Guy. At least you're a legend somewhere, right? Even if it's in your own mind. Even if it's in your own mind. You know, before we get into the uh, uh, what we're going to talk about this morning, which is actually related to what we're going to talk about. Yeah, it's a very timely question. Very timely question. Before we get into it, I do want to say that Travis and I will be... Very heartfelt feeling your pain on Friday night during that football game. Will you now? Yes. You guys going to wear like shorts and tank tops up there because it's probably going to be so toasty warm. Yeah, if they're they're talking about having uh, having it warm. They're going to have some hot chocolate and coffee up there for us, and uh, uh, you know they'll have meal provided and all that. And, uh, and and I just I hope there's somebody there to squeegee the windows off so we can see the game. All right. Wow. Well, you well I don't even know if we call you guys while well, you. Folks are up in the press box. The real men will be down on the field. Well, we we just let you know we feel for you. I'm sure you do. Yes. Rick. We, well, we got the uh, we got the cold snap coming, and anytime you got the cold snap coming, uh, you know, in Texas, it kind of I don't say it takes everybody by surprise, but I don't think everybody's really prepared for it. No, uh, and we actually have a really timely question this morning from Jose. He his question for uh, our Wednesday question of the day: ask a ask a Brian insurance guy is. With the cold weather coming up, if my pipes freeze and burst, is that covered on my homeowner's insurance policy? Is your pipes covered on your home insurance policy? And actually, most policies will have that covered. Um, you, you, you do need to check with your agent, though, and now is a really good time to do that. Have your agent take a look at your policy. Make sure that they are. Most of the time, pipes that, uh, for example, if you live in a pier and beam home, you live in a, uh, a mobile home, something of that nature, something where the pipes are not in the slab uh, and those pipes burst underneath the house, cause a leak, maybe the house to shift, something of that nature. Most of the time, again, not a 100%, but most of the time that stuff is covered. It goes along for the same things of even if you're in a slab and you've got some pipes that are on the outside walls, you know, we're going to have a 20, 30 mile an hour north wind coming in. Um, if you've got pipes that are on the north facing wall, and even if they're covered by brick, maybe some vinyl siding, something like that, the, the propensity for those suckers to freeze is pretty high. And it, once those freeze, if they burst, um, and, and let's say, for example, let's just say it's uh, it's late Friday night or early Saturday morning, and maybe you're, uh, you're out of town or something, you come back to a nice wet mess. Is, is that covered? Most of the time it is. You may have limits of coverage on that. Uh, some policies, the limit will be up to the dwelling limit of your home. For example, if your home is insured for $175,000, uh, most of the time the coverage will be up to that. Sometimes there's limitations on it. They'll say, hey, wind or excuse me, water coverage up to, uh, say, $10,000, $15,000. All of that is subject to a deductible, so there is going to be some out-of-pocket expense for you. But I'd much rather pay the deductible, whether it be one percent, a thousand bucks, fifteen hundred bucks, whatever your deductible is. I'd rather pay that than three to four to five thousand dollars it may take to replace sheetrock, uh, you know, replace floors, things of that nature, and all the stuff that's associated with it. So, uh, very timely question. I know a couple of years ago when we had. It was like two or three days where it was sub uh, freezing temperatures. A lot of pipes got frozen. A lot of you know the fun part is once those pipes are done, you always wonder, oh my gosh, did they crack while they were frozen? And uh, it's always a fun time when you turn that water. When that water starts flowing again, you're like you're checking walls, making sure there's no leaks anywhere. You know, people call you. They go, hey, I got a busted pipe. Uh, my house is flooding. What do I do? I typically tell them to get a boat. Get a boat. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) Uh, no, best thing to do right away is get to wherever you can shut that water off. Uh, and we're talking main shutoff valve, whether it's out in the front of the house. Um, you know, it's probably a good idea now to get a really good handle on where that shutoff valve is because in an event like that, there, there's no way to, you know, say turn on a shower head to loosen the pressure or anything else like that. If you notice that your pipes have cracked, you want to get to the main source of water coming into your house and shut that valve and that's that's going to it's not going to fix the problem but it's certainly going to stop the water from spewing 
Call your agent. Give us a call, Brian Insurance, um, and we'll get a claims adjuster on that. Uh, usually claims like that, they're going to get on pretty quick because the damage is, is usually pretty high. Um, so it's not, you know, not the equivalent of a house burning down or blowing away in a tornado, but still damage is pretty high. We're going to get a claims adjuster out there, uh, as quick as they can get out there, uh, usually within a day or two and get the situation under control, uh, probably would direct you. The claims adjusters will direct you to get a hold of, uh, you know, either service master or rainbow, uh, rainbow here locally in town to get in there, get the water cleaned up, um, get, get everything dried out. And then they can start remediation from there. Again, ripping sheetrock down, pulling up floors, things of that nature. So make sure you get a hold of Bright Insurance when it comes to the, uh, when you have a disaster like that. But it's best to call before it happens, so that way you're ready to roll when it does. Always be prepared. Um, again, locate your emergency shutoff valve right now, today, tomorrow, before the cold weather hits. Um, and, and just kind of be prepared. It's the Boy Scout motto, be prepared. Be ready. Got a real quick plug, though. Yes. Real quick. Uh, trying to make sure everybody out there knows the food pantry shelves here in Graham are really, really low. Those guys are in dire need of uh, restocking those shelves, and Brian Insurance is doing our part to ensure that the folks in Graham don't go hungry. So when you're out at United, when you're out at Walmart, when you're out at Dollar General, hey, pick up a few extra cans of some food. Pick up some extra uh, non-perishable food items. Bring them on up to Brian Insurance. Uh, we've got two drop-off locations. We're in the second floor of the First National Bank building. So if it's business hours between 9 and 5, 9 to 4 on Fridays, you can bring them on up. Uh, we've already got a big collection of them up there, so you can add to it. Sarah and Brenda, those those ladies will gladly accept that. If it's before or after business hours, we've actually got a nice red box down there in the elevator bays where you can drop the food off there. So uh, help Brian Insurance. Help us ensure that the folks in Graham don't go hungry. Bring by your non-perishable food items, and let's get those shelves stocked again. Get her done. Call Brian Insurance today at 549-2525 and talk to Joe.